so. Hey, I got that chicken to go. I'm gone. A lot of these look lost. They, they broke. They think it's my fault. No car. <laughs> I want that car. I'm dripping. I'm stuck with the sauce. Good drip. Good drip. But she love you. Don't cut your. Yeah, Reynolds yeah, Vinci yeah. is white. That's light. Limited Louis, that's light. light. Rape in the city, that's light. that's light. LED, look at the light. We the ones don't like. Don't like. But you look too light. Too light. Why even play with your life? Bank account looking like yikes. Like I went from feeling all kites to putting it in my block. Luke Gucci sweater is drill. drill. Somebody give me a. Drill. These ain't like the cops. Like Gossiping more than a. In jail, I had. I make you cut off the. Think that I made it, they can't be my friends, so they wanna be out. So if I see them hanging and I'm in that spaceship, I'm dropping the top. Ain't like my beat, ain't no happy belated, I'm calling the guap. Who gave you a voice? Who told you your thoughts call? GPS straight to the money. I put my big homie up. The big Mickey Mouse. You post your at 12 and the NFL on EA Sports is in the great state of Tennessee at Nissan Stadium here in Nashville. The whole of downtown Nashville parading with the sounds of the Titans taking the field a moment ago. They're ready for football as their Titans are set to match up with Andrew Luck and the Indianapolis Colts. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. They'll fake it. Now Lock. Fighting his way through contact. The completion good. This is Eric Ebron. First play of the drive. A success. 19 yards. Just the first quarter of a tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and worrying all offseason about our season open opponent, and they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled them on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. I ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, <laughs> it would have been, been a different story. long night. From the 50, it's long. It's complete here to T.Y. Hilton. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 13 yards on his first catch. It's a first down as well. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Now a carry for Mack. Gave a glimpse of his quick feet, but not a whole lot of space down at the 30. The big man, Jarrell Casey, in on the stop. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. Now a play fake, and it's locked. Out to his left. Now he's going to let it go. Going for Hilton, and it's intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byer. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Throw on first down. Escaping the pressure right. Wow, evasive. Make a miss. And they're going to get this all the way out past the 20. Able to find a lot of empty space there. Picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. Now they can breathe a little easier. Some room to operate as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. First down, Mariota. Got a man right side. It's sharp. And down he'll go at the 25. That throw good for four. It's second down. 
I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag let's go, route, let's go, let's go. something short, shallow, going through defenders, one, one. using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, one, one. that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. To throw Mariota. And an alley to run. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. Mariota had an 87-yard run as a rookie. This one a bit less, but it is a first down. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you have something about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Second down throw for Mariota. Throw left side complete. It's Walker. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Mariota now from the 50, buying time to his left, and avoids the contact by sliding, taking matters into his own hands, and he picks up four yards and a first down. Let's go, let's go, when they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. And he's going to get this down near the 30 yard line. So, first and 10 now from the 30. Toss play to Lewis. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Mariota now on second down. Dancing to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. On third down, Mariota. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Jabal Sheard with a big-time sack on third down, and it'll be a loss of seven. And Suckup will put this one right through, and the Titans hit the scoreboard first. It's three to nothing. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? Luck and the Colts come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. On the right side, it's Hilton with a catch. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Naeem Hines, his first carry. 
And he's up over midfield and down into Tennessee territory. The tackle is made by Adoree Jackson. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Oh, and now he bowls him over. The passing game for the Colts finding its stride. Another first down. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. Now a play fake here on first down. And incomplete. Trying to get that one to his running back, Marlon Mack. That'll bring up second down. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Now Luck. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Well, that takes a start to have a good drive, quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Two minutes remain here in the first half. Back to Tennessee after this. Third and long, it's locked. And that is incomplete. So much of this game is about leverage. We always talk about low man wins in the trenches. Most like that of just about every position. And sometimes, if you lose that leverage and you're losing the battle, just jump up at the line of scrimmage and try and bat the ball away. And that's exactly what happened there. And this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And that will tie us at 3-3. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. But I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. They'll start off with a give to Lewis. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Second down, Mariota. Forced out to his left. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. That one good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. Offensively, they liked their situation, so they tried to take a shot downfield, but no one was open. So it was tuck it in run time, and he picks up a first down. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. They'll try to throw now. Mariota, and an alley to run. There he goes inside the 30. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 17 yards on that play for the Titans. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. Mariota on first down. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Kenny Moore that time there on the coverage. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. And he'll keep it moving down to the 15-yard line. A nice job to get eight there after the incompletion. And now they'll look at a third and two coming up. 
I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turn around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge? Whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football. If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. Maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. And another timeout taken by the Colts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. He'll get it up the middle, and he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. As it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. This Colts D up to the challenge so far, but they need another stop here on third and goal. Here's Mariota. Steps. Touchdown, Tennessee! And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Uh, let me go ahead and show my age a little bit. Get from the three-yard line, right? We need line up. Go ahead. And, oh, there's a fake. And oh, he's going to get two. That's great. But from the 15... The risk-reward, it's just not there. It's so risky to get 15 yards on a fake. Well, you see the result right there. Yeah, I know these young whippersnappers are trying to do different things in this game, but let's go back to old reliable. Kick the ball through the post. Get off my lawn. That's darn right. Here's Luck. Under pressure and down he goes. Luck is sacked. And the Titans going to signal for a timeout defensively. As they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Throwing his lock. Flushed out right. And the pressure gets to him again. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout. Making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. And they take a knee. That's it for the first. There you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter, here we go. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. Spinning away. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Titans offense now, they get set to head back out here. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, let's go, let's go, tendency go. breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Henry. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. Incomplete. 
Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. On fourth down, they snap it to Mariota. And he's got a man, Corey Davis. And he'll be taken down, but first he gets deep into Indianapolis territory. Fourth down conversion plays, you usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. So a big play as it gets them all the way down to the 20 now for first and ten. A toss left, Henry. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 11 more on that one and another first down. And that's a good sign right there as we start the third quarter. Because in the first half, not much space to run the football. And as we go into the half, we often think to ourselves, all right, what's the adjustment? What do they have to do? You know what a lot of the adjustments are? No adjustments. You know the game plan. They've been working on it all week. Maybe a little tweak here or there, a little bit better blocking. And now you're establishing the run. And he's going to score. It's a Titans touchdown. Marcus Mariota, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Titans are going to add on to their lead. Throwing Mariota. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. Now here's Suck about to kick it away. Here's the Colts now as they get ready for their first. Uh, okay, I'm back to school. You, this is open campus. This is, I should slap it open handed. Tough so life, I told a model she need lower standards. Asked her if she had a twin, I feel like Joey Tanner. Spender, Chris Jenner, I promote the family. Kardashian, see the bizzo, she like, oh, what's happening? Think she called me, think she cause she never knew her daddy. And my dog, black, rhythm nation, Janet, boy.
Seen the best of them, Jando. When they find a life in the can't Never met a man that they can't talk. We're talking on the phones, they can hear us. When you got dumb cake up in the say that they be waiting for you in the bushes with the duck tape. Up and down the interstate, yeah, we really touch. We touch. October, I'm about to another state. He went down in Arizona, don't get me involved. An empty box in the car means they coming for all. I mean, I had six six phones, I got rid of them all. We get hit and sit down, we don't talk to the law. Yeah, they think I'm tripping, they listen. They know our every move, yeah, they want us all in prison. That's why I can't sleep at night until they get in. I'm on another mission, I'm just young and I'm living. Yeah, I done seen the best of them, Twenty for the life and the can't stop. Never met a man that they can't talk. We're talking on the phone so they can hear us. Seven in the morning and they in my home. My bank account's froze. What is going on? Why it all start going wrong? From talking yeah. on the phone. My phone still echo. The feds won't let go. Money never sleeps when you're the black Gordon Gecko. When I'm out making different moves Pull up to the shop just to pick and choose I'm that don't get confused Cause even when them prayed I did I didn't lose Shame. I done seen the best of them Jando 25 to life in the cast on Never met a man that they can't talk We're talking on the phones to get here up 7 in the morning and they in my home My bank accounts froze What is going on? Start going wrong from talking on the phones. Look in the mirror, how could you face that? Mask on, don't even know where my face at. Plenty don't even know where to waste that. All these in the room, how could you waste that? It's a never ending run on this racetrack. No matter what, I'ma stay black. It's a never ending run on this racetrack. Need more jewelry. What I tell myself as I'm writing my eulogy. Ask the mirror, how you put up with this foolery? It reply, how you put up with this foolery? Song and dance, all this buffoonery. Long romance, death, what it do to me? Yeah, make any dream was with the devil for his life, yeah. We all on the dance floor. Girl, come with a dance. Puerto Rican, in the 
breathing heavy. Little little am I, am I looking dead? Couldn't tell him none cause we lost them already. Cozy boy with his boy with spaghetti. With the money and fame, the price come heavy. The price come heavy. Like Shaq attack up on a backboard. Gummy, gummy, gummy back up on a backboard. When she asked me if I love her, I just act boy. Say loser, 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 ask for it. Living movie, black buster, this ain't a rental. Choking moody, all these diamonds up in my dental. I get never mind it if I offend you. I need the silence, chaos is in my mental. You need a PJ first class, not what you went to. You need to relay, chase money like you sane. How I give you the boat chain and plane. Fame name, fame name, that's insane. insane. Pop it. Nah. You need a in case the movies get insane. Nah. You need a ruby, the kind of jewelry that's from the rain. No. I'm just here to remind you, but never mind me, man. I'm here to remind you where you come from. All this peace retreat is lame, done. You can never get rid of me. I live in you. Live in you. Both of our five fin you. And we are inside of the very spacious Lucas Oil Stadium in downtown Indianapolis. Just a short time ago, smoke from the pyrotechnics filled the dome as the Colts made their way out of the locker room. We're set for football as the Colts get set to match up with the Tennessee Titans. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. First and ten, wow. and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Benny Logan, he's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Off of play action, Luck. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off around the 27. Then he will bring it back to about the 11-yard line. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they can open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. On second down, here's Henry. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. Well, that's a tough, costly penalty because now it makes it third and six after the false start. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. And they're going to get to him, a sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield. And it bangs off the right, upright, no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. 
And that one, my goodness, that was almost too easy. Yeah, you now got too many attempts shorter than that one. And I don't think this was blocked. That's about as bad a miss as you can have. The Colts now, their offense works their way back onto the field. That opening drive ended with the INT. It didn't lead to points, but still not the way they were hoping to begin the game. But how about going and telling your defense, thank you, a huge thank you. You said it didn't lead to points, stalled off that drive. Now they've got a chance to redeem themselves, maybe reward their defense a little bit by putting some points on the board on this one. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Over the middle here, it's Hilton. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Here's Luck now on second down. He's got it to Hilton. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where Every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Here's Matt. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. That's good for an Indianapolis first down on a gain of 10. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. Now a toss play. This is Mack. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Now he's going to go deep. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byers. And he is all the way up past the 25. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Following the interception here, Mariota. And now he'll tuck it and run. And he slides to avoid the hit. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. Partner, it's often the man coverage is easier for a quarterback to run against. You get your receivers going downfield. Those guys are staying with them, and oftentimes they have their back nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. That led to the sack. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. With the former volunteer Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. It's the Titans with the football here to begin quarter number two. But they face a second and long to start things out. Working out of the gun, Mariota, flush to his right, going deep for Walker, and he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 28, and they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. 
Okay, it's real simple to say from here, but we know that sometimes as a quarterback, you've got to know when to say when and just throw it away. Flushed out to the right, tries to make something out of nothing here, and he winds up floating one downfield that gets intercepted. Here comes the Colts offense now as they make their way onto the field. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit. Like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week? Not the one that you're throwing it to? And maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. On first down, Lock. Buying time to his left. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Brian Arakpo able to get in and run him down for what will be a loss of 15 yards. To throw on second down is Locke. Over the middle complete. It's Doyle. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. They get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. Throwing on third down, Locke. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Doyle. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Another good reception there. The Colts on the march. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Here's Mack on the toss. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there. Second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. On second down, here's Locke. The pass complete to Ryan Grant. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. The passing game for the Colts finding its stride. Another first down. Locke now. Hitting on 80% of his passes in the early going. 8 of 10. It's first down. He winds up getting only a couple there. Down to the 29. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive. And not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally. Because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Back to throw, Love sliding out of the pocket. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Two minutes remain in a scoreless first half. We'll come back to Indianapolis right after this. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. From the gun, here's Locke. Dancing to his left. He get, now a hit, and Locke lost the football. It's out. It's picked up by the Titans. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. Didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. First and ten. Here's Mariota. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. He came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. To throw Mariota. And this one's incomplete. Corey Davis, the intended receiver. Third down here. 
feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Forced out to his left. And now another one thrown incomplete. But no second guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up. But they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. To throw is Mariota. Escaping the pressure right. And this is going to be incomplete. A surprising move to go for it. Predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. The football, an outstanding field position. Hey, 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 go! 190! Yeah. 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 They'll run it now, out of the gun. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 14. From the 50, it's long. Eluding the pressure right. And Luck will be intercepted for a third time. Picked by Kevin Byer. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open. Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. Well, right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. I remember watching Derrick Henry come out of Alabama and sitting with some scouts, and one of the debate points with him was, while at Bama, how often did he have to deal with contact near the line of scrimmage? They were so good up front that he often got to the second level pretty easily. I think he's starting to answer those questions with runs like that. He's a physical, physical guy. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Quincy Wilson in on the stop. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. Second down, Mariota. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Mariota will need a big play after the sack as the Titans come up third and long. Now Mariota. And incomplete on the deep ball. And what did we talk with them about prior to the game? Their ability to move the chains, pick up first downs. So far, 0 for 3 on third down. If that continues, they'll have little chance of winning this one. On is Kern, the punter, to send this one away. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. And the Colts getting ready to go. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Going up top. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 20. 11, 11, 11. The final shot before the break. Lock. Stepping up. He's going to keep it. Looking. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked by Kevin Byard. Wait a second, they did not... You want the third quarter already? No problem, let's do it. So plenty of action on the field, but no action right now on the scoreboard, at least as of yet. Nothing, nothing is our score. So no scoring in our first half. What will the second half bring as we are now back underway? That's fielded in the end zone. 
Oh, nice spin. Oh, that brought back bad memories. Out come the Titans now. There are zero points on the scoreboard for either side. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments were made. The defenses have obviously been great. So if you like defense, this is a classic game. This is what you're looking for. But now you're trying to figure out how to gain any type of an advantage on offense. Is it through a big chunk play that they haven't seen before? Or is it just running your regular offense and running it better, trying to create an opportunity? We'll see which avenue they choose to go down. They keep it with Henry on first down. Give him 16 yards there, a Tennessee first down. It looks way too easy right now. Two carries, two straight first down runs. The eyes are carrying the legs to the proper hole, but they're being created by an offensive line that has the leverage game going for him right now. Lower than the defensive front, creating space, and he's finding it in a big way got to love what they're doing on offense right now two yards on the carry there it'll be second down they'll try to throw now Mariota and this is caught at the eight and able to get him down but he does reach the five it's a really nice 15 yard pickup and now it's first and goal might we see our first touchdown of the game? Here's first and goal. Now they'll run it on the toss. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. So second and goal, and the big man Henry alone in the backfield. <laughs> Throwing is Mariota. Flushed out right. And he's going to score. It's a Titans touchdown. Marcus Mariota, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Titans are able to strike for six. And his kick is right through. Now here's Suckup out to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Here's the Colts now as they get ready for their first possession on offense of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Luck now to throw. Flush to his right. Now a hit and Luck lost the football. It's out. And a little bit of good fortune there. He wasn't able to get it back. But he did have a teammate on the spot able to retain possession for them. The Colts on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and eight. A shotgun snap for Love. And he's able to get out to the 32 brought down there. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet. Get a little wrap yardage. They have a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. A defensive breakdown allows a pickup of 16 on fourth down. And that's what you've got your tough little slot receiver for, isn't it? Right there, those fourth down conversions in the middle of the field. He knows that's where he has to make his living. And that's where he has to make plays to help his team. And no one is asking him to do anything more or less than do exactly what we saw there. Luck throwing again. Stepping up. He's going to keep it. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. 
last drive, remember, similar situation. He forced the ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Back to the air. Lock on second down. Steps away to his left. Looking deep for Hilton. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive. And finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They saw the double coverage on him. Made it very tough for him to get the ball. To throw his lock. And oh, they almost had another one. They are all over the football in this game. Nearly another pick. Now fourth down. I'm trying to decipher what's going on out there because reads. I don't know if the defense is confusing him. I don't know if he just has, you know, bad info and intel before he snaps the ball, but he's made some pretty bad decisions with the football lately. Yeah, several bad decisions on the interceptions he's thrown in. Frankly, that should have been another pick right there. On fourth down, Lock. And he's got his man, Hilton. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Hey, nothing to see here. Just your standard fourth down gain of 28 yards. And the drive keeps going. Lock now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and 10. They run with Wilkins, and this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Out of the gun, Lock. He's going to be out of bounds on what's going to wind up being the final play of quarter. The Colts on third down, two for five to this point. This is third down and 12. Now it's Lock. Escaping the pressure right. He may try and run for this. Oh, no, he lost the football. And this is going to kick out of bounds. Boy, a fortunate bounce or two there. They'll keep possession back inside the 10-yard line. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And no, it's incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And as a result, it'll be Titan football on the turnover on downs. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bathema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. The Titans on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and five. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. Going deep for Walker. He's got a man complete. The 30. The 20, 10, touchdown, Titans. Delaney Walker, an even 90 yards. And the Titans find a way to stretch their lead. Extra point up and good by Suckup. And it's now 14 to nothing. Now here's Suckup out to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. 
And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And the Colts coming out now. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And it'll be second and 12. Here's Luck, on the move to his left, looking deep for Hilton, and my goodness, another interception, picked by Kevin Byard, and they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. Mariota and the Titans break the huddle, first and 10 at their 38. They start the drive on the ground with Lewis. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Now a second down throw for Mariota. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. Mariota. And he locates Walker. Complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. He got 29 yards that time. Big hook up there. Forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Ten more there and another first down. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. Mariota now. And his throw here is incomplete. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Third and long here for Mariota. And he's got a man, Corey Davis. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. The great move couldn't free him. Taken down at the 10. And another timeout taken by the Colts. As they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. From the 10-yard line, here's second and goal. Mariota here to throw. Eluding the pressure right. A good decision in the end to pull it and run. Get some nine yards at a first. Normally we're talking about a quarterback duel where they're matching each other pass for pass. How about the footwork in this one? Both of these guys running the ball well. Yeah, they mixed in the run game. You're exactly right. Now, both coaches might not like how much the quarterbacks have taken off, but another example right there of just good mobility. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. 
Well, Brandon, we see why it's a team game there because there's a sigh of relief that they just released defensively. If he's able to get that one away, that's likely. And he's going to go down. This will count as a sack, a very short sack. Take it down at the two. Jabal Sheard able to run him down for a loss of a yard. This Colts D up to the challenge so far, but they need another stop here on third and goal. They come out here in the eye. Here's Henry, and he gets in. Touchdown, Tennessee. Derrick Henry punching it in from a yard away. And the Titans are going to add on to their lead. Extra point put through by Suckup, and it's now 21 to nothing. Now here's Suckup out to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Flushed out right. Now a hit and lock. Lost the football. It's out. And his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. Well, Parker, I think it's safe to say they can mark this down as extremely frustrating. Here we are in the fourth quarter, and that last play, that turnover, I think it epitomizes what happened to them all day on offense. So symbolic, and that's why they're still being shut out. Mariota going deep for Walker. This is caught inside the 15. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, I've got to laugh here because the old school in me is not happy about this score this late, not necessary. But this is Madden, isn't it? Yeah. This, is how, this is how it works. Rub it in. Have a day. I mean, what, what does it matter? <laughs> These guys who are playing in this game, there are no feelings Exactly. There. They don't have to face the guy. Well, they might if they're in the same room going head to head. But, <laughs> but that's the about The virtual it. guys on the screen don't have to face each other after this one. In that case, run it up. Luck on first down. Flush to his right. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. And that one drops to the ground. Incomplete. Clock stops here just inside of 20 seconds. 19 left. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. From the gun, here's Love. He's going to let it fly. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. On first down, Love escaping the pressure right. Now a desperation throw deep downfield and nearly picked it off. He had a chance to come down with that in the end zone, but it'll wind up just being incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more pass. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byard. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, the storyline of this one, Charles, no doubt the number zero. Zilch, nada. A shutout so hard to do in the NFL. It really is. What an accomplishment because you feel that not just on the defensive side, but as a full team. There's a lot of pride that goes into shutting out an opponent. And how about that zero on the scoreboard for them going along with those zeros in the time column, too.
This one, I don't know this one. 